implementation of string constructor and string operation. Why do we need several string functions or string constructor while operating a Java program? Hello everyone, I am Sukanya from GoDoHub Technology and in this video we are going to see several string constructor and then implement them with the help of a program. The string object can be created explicitly by using the new keyword and a constructor in the same way as we have created objects previously. For example, here you can see that string str new string welcome to GoDoHub technology. So some of the string constructor are public java.lang string, similarly public java.lang string, java.lang string in the method body. Similarly for character is also there, start index, num in the particular characters. And there are many string buffer and string builder constructors there for implementing a new keyword in a particular constructor with the help of a new keyword. Here you can see that program code is written. With the help of constructor here we have done several string functions such as the ASCII numbers are converted into characters implicitly. We know that every character of alphabet is having a certain ASCII value. For example, capital A is having 65 capital B 66. So this is how all the values are changed implicitly with the help of a array. You can see that in the output of program also. This is how values are changed. Next we have several string methods. Now methods definitely will have some kind of usage in the particular program. So those methods are char, char at int index. Now what this particular method does, it returns the character value for that particular index. An index begins with 0 not with 1. Similarly, there is a method in the string method that is int length. It returns the particular length of string. That what is the length of string which you have entered or you have given. Similarly, there is static string format and object and argument. It returns a formatted string. String substring int begin index. Now, it returns the substring for a given begin index. From that particular indexing, it will give you the substring fetch from the original string. Similarly, string sub index, int begin index and end index. That means you have given from where you have to fetch until which particular index. So it returns the substring from those particular index only. Next is boolean contains in char sequence. It returns true or false value after matching the sequence of character value which you have given. This is a boolean method or boolean function. Boolean equals to any other object. It checks the equality of the string with the given object. Boolean is empty. This particular method returns or checks that if the string is empty or not. Next is string concat and you have to give the string in str that is concats the specific string. String replace with the character old to the new character you have to pass in the parameters and it replaces all the occurrences of that particular specified char value in the particular given string. It replaces that particular value. For example, I want to replace a with x, then I have to give the firstly char a replaced with char x. So all the a occurrences in any particular word or any particular sentence will be replaced with x. Similarly, there is string replace character sequence old to character sequence new. Now, previously what it does, it represents the occurrence only of the particular care value. That means only one care value. But here it specifically changes the whole character sequence. So, for that we use the function string replace character sequence old to the character sequence new. Similarly, we have other functions that is string equal is ignore case of any other string. It compares with another string. It does not check the case. You can split string also. For splitting, you have to use the split function or method. It returns a split string matching the regex. Split x, regex and int limit, you have to also set that from where the matching is to be done and the limit is particularly set. String intern, it returns the intern string. Similarly, index of any particular character, you can find out index of a particular care value, you can also find out that. Now next is string to lowercase and uppercase. It just return in the lowercase of the entire string and the uppercase of the given string. You can do that. String rim function or the method is used to remove the beginning and ending spaces of this string if there are any spaces. Static string value of int value converts the given type to into string in an overloaded method. Now here you can see a program code mentioned here that we have firstly created a class demo and then we have given the string str that is the string is goedu hub technologies. Now firstly we are finding that string at cat 2 the index given is 2 so it will begin with 0 index that is 0 that is g then o is 1 and e so it will return you e in the output it has returned you e. 
similarly we have the length of this particular stent and it will also count the blank space also we can format the particular name also and then we can after formatting we can print and before formatting also you can print with the help of system dot out println statement formatting string with 15 spaces and up to 8 decimal places can also be done you want to fetch a substring from the ninth position ninth index so it will start fetching from the ninth index to the end of this string you have also mentioned in next the system dot out print ln str dot substring 2 to 8 that means from index 2 and it ends at index 8 system dot out print ln str is empty is it empty no it is not so what the boolean value will return it will return that it is false Similarly, you can concat with string 2 also that you are joining both the strings that is concatenation is also. Now, let us firstly write this program using all the string methods and see the execution of it. Here you can see that I have written the program which I have explained also of all the string functions concatenation to find the index or to replace I have written. And now firstly, I am going to compile this program. And for compilation, we use the syntax javac and then the program which we have saved with the .java extension. So, I have saved with pr1.java. When I compile the particular program, if any errors are there, it will show me here and if none, so there are no errors. Now, I can run the class file and the class file is demo. So, when I run that particular class file, I can see that all the that character at 2 so there are character at 2 you can see that 0 1 2 so e is at 2 positions so it is returned me similarly the length and all the formatting we have done for checking the boolean function that if the string is empty so no string is not empty there are characters present so it will return false that string is not empty similarly for concatenation and for uppercase and lowercase also given here so by the end of this video we have studied about the string functions and several methods in the string class which are used to create explicitly by using the new keyword and a constructor at the same times as the way you have created objects previously. So this is for string class where several functions and methods are there with which we can implement the string class in Java programming. For more concepts of Java and programs we will look into upcoming videos. Thank you.